Hello everybody, X Dog Killer X here, welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. And today we're continuing our map collection series by looking at the crafted and profession mounts. We're going to be going through each skill individually, like alchemy and archaeology, and have a look at each mount obtainable through that skill, and of course how you obtain it. So here we go. So starting off with alchemy, there's only one for this one, which is the Sandstone Drake. This is obtained from the Vial of the Sands, which whose recipe is rarely obtained in canopic jars gathered via toll via, via archaeology, and the recipe is bound to the player once found. This will mean in order to obtain this mount, you will not only need high alchemy, you will also need advanced archaeology in order to craft this mount. Next up we have archaeology, starting off with Spirit of Echo Row. This is obtained by completing the quest at the right path. Uh, this will only happen really as there are 13 different archaeology quests and only one is up for any two week period which means you could potentially wait up to 26 weeks to get this quest. And the quest is offered once it is up by Darren Astor Learned in Dalaran. Next up is the Ultramarine Karaji Battle Tank. This is obtained from 150 Tolvir archaeology fragments, which are of course obtained from doing archaeology in Tolvir. Then we have the fossilized raptor, which is obtained from 100 fossil archaeology fragments, which are obtained from, of course, fossils. Next up, blacksmithing, which is only one mount, which is the steel bound devourer. In order to obtain this mount, you will first need a legion blacksmithing of a hundred or higher in order to learn the plans. The plans themselves are dropped from Chichadris, I've, I've said that wrong, in Nighthold on at least normal level or above and has an estimated drop rate of 8%. Moving on to engineering now with the Mecha Mogul Mark II to start. This is created using the schematic Mecha Mogul Mark II, which will drop from Mogul Razdunk in the final boss of the mother load on mythic difficulty next up we have the flying machine and turbocharged flying machine the flying machine schematics are available for purchase from your outland engineering tutor at level one with the schematics for the turbocharged flying machine be available at level 75 outland engineering next up we have the mecha hog and the mechanier's chopper these are obtained using Outland Engineering at level 75. For Horde, you will purchase these from either Garad Schoolbrush in the Borean Tundra or Sebastian Crane in the Howling Fjord for 400 gold and they must be exalted with the Horde Expedition. And for the Mechganeer's Chopper, you'll need to be exalted with the Iron Alliance Vanguard and these are purchased from Logistics Officer Brighton in the Howling Fjord or Logistics Officer Silverstone in the Borean Tundra. Next up we have the depleted Kyperium rocket and the Geosynchronous world spinner. These are both obtained from your engineering teacher in Pandaria at level 75 for 16 gold. Sky Golem. This is craftable with level 75 Pandarian engineering. And the schematic for this one is an extremely rare world drop within many raids and dungeons um, in Mists of Pandaria. And finally for engineering we have the Zulag ATV. This is crafted using two professions. You will need the supercharged engine made by engineers and the monolith reinforced chassis which is made from blacksmiths. You will also need to obtain the schematic to craft both of these components from Kujo who is a boss in Operation Mechagon, which will have obtained both. The engineer will be able to combine these together to create this mount. Next up we have fishing, the first mount being the Pond Nettle. This is obtained from fishing in fell waters on Argus. There's an approximate chance of 1 in 1000 from every cast of getting this mount. Next we have the Sea Turtle. This is a very rare catch while fishing pools in Northern Pandaria and the Cataclysm level zones, including debris pools around the shores of Dark Moon Island. It is also an extremely rare drop from Caridwella Murlocs in your garrison's fishing pond in Dranor. And then for the fishing you have the Great Sea Ray. This one is obtained in the Battle for Azeroth by fishing in waters around Zandalar and Kul Taras. Jewel crafting is up next. 
These mounts are all sold at various levels of reputation by San Redscale in the Arboretum in Jade Forest and all require level 75 Pandarian jewel crafting to make. These are the Jade Panther requiring Honoured, Sunstone Panther also requiring Honoured, Ruby Panther at Revered, Sapphire Panther at Revered and the Jeweled Onyx Panther at Exalted. Next up is level working, which we will start off with the Great Northern Elder Horn. This can only be crafted and learnt by level workers with a Legion level working skill of 100, but can then be used by any other character on your account. This is obtained at the end of a very long level working quest chain from Legion. And next up we have the Dust Main Direwolf. This is only craftable at level 100 in Draenor level working and is purchased from Garn Glanstride at Wardspear or Lyra Moonsilk at Stormshield for five secret of Draenor level working books. And to finish up we have tailoring, format available from this one, starting off with the Creeping Carpet. This one is obtained using the Draenor tailoring skill at level 1 and is purchased from from Pitya Storm Scene in Warspear for five secrets of Draenor tailoring. Next up you have the Flying Carpet. This is simply purchased from Norvarand Tailoring Teachers. Then we have the Frosty Flying Carpet. This is purchased from Frozo the Renowned in Norvarand Dalaran for six frozen orbs. And then the Magnificent Flying Carpet is again learnt from tailoring teachers in Northrand. All of these can only be used on an account with tailoring. Okay, so that's it for this one. So if you've enjoyed, don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. Which you follow me on Twitter, it's always down below. So last thing to say, I've been XR Killer X, and I'll see you in the next World Warcraft video. Thanks for watching.